So today <clears throat> we're going to be um, looking at the, um, every main tower of every Springfield arc. So yeah, just the main main towers, all that crap, you know. Main towers, you know, basically they're just towers that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. They're towers that stick out from the arc, you know. Just every time you think about it, um, you'll think about those towers. So that's what a main tower is. So uh, yeah. Now then, let's uh, let's start off with the good old original Springfield arc, the the one that started every single Springfield arc, aka started it all. That's what I meant to say. The Springfield arc. I mean, the, the first Springfield arc, but better known as uh, simply as the Springfield arc, since this was the original. This is the original Springfield arc. So, I consider the main tower of the Springfield arc to be the monopole. You know, the the small monopole that used to have an FH three twenty four. That's why I consider it to be the main tower of the the very first Springfield arc. And the reason why is because every time I would think about it, this tower would pop up in my mind. Because uh, this here is the very, well, yeah, the very first episode of the very first Springfield arc. So it was the very first tower that really showed up. Other than the smaller monopole, they actually, uh, actually the smaller monopole actually came before. Because uh, it was, a, it was a closer to me, so I filmed that first before this. But this tower is still the main tower, so yeah. Um, there's there's a smaller monopole that that's beaconless that's uh, very close to this monopole with the LED. So yeah, so yeah, it's just a, um, a small monopole with just one LED and no side markers. So um, I'm pretty sure that um, during this trip, the um, is when I that's when I found out that this tower got an LED. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. Um. Around this time, it did get an LED, and I believe it was um it was around where um I believe it was when the the first Springfield arc was being made. It would have been so much better if it still had its FH three twenty four, because it was just so memorable with its FH three twenty four too. So yeah, along with the Lebanon on the the Lebanon whatever you want to say like the Lebanon monopole um that used to have an FH three twenty four as well, and it was replaced around the same time as uh, as um this tower's FH three twenty four. All right, so the next arc is the second Springfield arc, the great successor to the original Springfield arc, the great successor and sequel. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so um, this arc here was a big improvement. Um, so yeah, um, let's just let's just uh, get this out the way. This is my favorite Springfield arc. I just have to get that out of the way. All right, all right. Easily, the main towers of the second Springfield arc are um, this this tower here. And that tower there, so these tower, these two towers, I consider to be the the main towers of this arc, because literally every time I think about the second Springfield arc, um, usually the first thing that pops up pops up into my mind is um the video of um when I film both of these towers at night and got to uh and finally got to discover their night modes because prior to this I had no idea if if both of them shine white red one of them shine white only and all that stuff I didn't know what beacons they had and all that crap. So yeah, um, didn't know any of that stuff. So um, yeah, this was very exciting, and I say I am not disappointed whatsoever. Before um, before this though, um, these towers did make an appearance. Uh, well, this these towers made an appearance in the first Springfield arc. I'm going to um, tell you this right now, that um, every tower, I every main tower or towers I talk about, I'm also going to uh, include past appearances in the Springfield arc series. So uh, yeah. So these um, these two towers appeared in the first Springfield arc, but only for day mo only for a day mode video. The second Springfield arc offered day mode and night mode. I got to film both, and this tower has a I believe either an FH zero eight or an, an FG two thousand. Not too sure which one because they both have um, night modes that both those beacons have. So yeah, it has a slow flash night mode. So I'm not sure if it's an FH zero eight or a, a two thousand. I'm not sure. It's, it probably has a 2000. So yeah, before I before I um, ever seen this tower on night mode, I thought this tower would shine white and red. Like I thought I obviously thought it had an FH324 cuz um, that's like the default beacon for some random tower that you would see really anywhere. And I was wrong. So yeah, I spent a lot of time trying to even trying to figure out what beacon it had. And uh yeah, and I also, uh, I was also looking for markers and stuff, but I couldn't really find any markers. So I kind of, um, during the beginning of the second Springfield arc, I kind of, um, I, uh, I, I predicted that it was going to shine white at night. So yeah, I couldn't find no markers, didn't see any red at, at the top, so didn't have a dual strobe and all that stuff. So yeah, and then I was right. 
I was right then, at least. For the other tower, the red and white radio tower, um, I always imagined this tower shining white and red. I thought the tower had FH-324s, but I was wrong. It has two sets of 3000 Bs. So yeah, the opposite of 2000s. So um, yeah, it's pretty nice. And um, yeah, um, I was right on it, shining white and red, but I was wrong with beacons. So yeah, it doesn't really matter though. I at least got to film both towers and I was happy. Though there was a little disappointment. You know the smaller tower next to the, to the red and white tower? That has an old school incandescent with one set of markers. When I found it out, I thought it was going to work, so I was very excited to see all of them at night. But I was he heavily disappointed when I found out that um, it doesn't work. So yeah, the main towers of the second Springfield arc is uh, this um, this uh, Verizon tower and um, the red and white radio tower. Okay, so the next arc is um, it's a very unknown Springfield arc, to be honest. Like uh, It's very underrated, and uh, there is a reason why. So, um, yeah, I'll make a separate video about all the Springfield Arc rankings. Like, I'm going to rank all of them. I already made that, but I want to make an update since we uh, gained five more Springfield Arcs. And the last one ended off at... Uh, oh, wait, wait, six. Six more Springfield Arcs since the other one ended off at the sixth Springfield Arc. So we got the partial Springfield Arc. So, yeah, um, it's not really too familiar because uh, it's very short and it was very forgettable. Not to me, but to probably you guys and longtime fans, too. Nothing that, there's not much that stands out from the arc, but um, every time I think about, um, every time I think about this arc, there's like two things that pop into my mind, or actually three. First one being how um, me, um, me, uh, me, my family, and my, um, my grandparents, along with some other distant family members, um, um, we ate at this little diner in Doolittle, uh, sadly closed down now, that sucks, you know. So yeah, I filmed the ceiling fans down there. And then um, another, uh, the second one is um, uh, we went to a zoo down there, just a little zoo and stuff. So that was like the main part of the arc. That was our main location. And then um, we, uh, um, and, and the third thing I think about, or the third thing that pops up to my mind when I think about this arc is um, the the Wingsfield Tower Trio. So yeah, I consider the, the Wingsfield Tower Trio to be the main towers of the partial Springfield arc. So yeah, it's a little weird because um, it's not in Springfield, and usually, um, um, usually the main towers of really any arc are usually supposed to be in um, in the actual destination, like in this case Springfield. So yeah, but this time um, in this arc, it changes stuff up a little bit. So yeah, um, really the only tower-related thing that um, pops that pops up into my head is this every time I think about this arc. So yeah, um, these towers are the main towers of the arc because really seeing them all on night mode um, along with um, random markers and here here and there and stuff, it was really just magical to be honest. It was so cool. Um, so yeah, pretty nice and all that stuff. Though um, I, I, I will have to say this. If, um, um, if I was smarter back then, um, there would be actually be a different main tower. So if you guys um, actually... Um, I don't know if I ever told you this um, or not, but during the partial Springfield arc, off camera at least, I actually went to Ozark, which Ozark is where the fourth Walmart tower is. So it's the one with the strobish LED and all that stuff. So um, now you guys probably remember. Um, I recently went there, or just passed by at least. So yeah, we went there to eat at a restaurant, and um, I had every single chance to film that tower, the fourth, uh, the fourth Walmart tower. So yeah, but I never did. I never did. Uh, yeah, I never filmed it. And I regret it. If I filmed it, that would be the main tower of this arc. But no, there's a lot of missed opportunities with this arc. So yeah, but at least, he's, um, the, at least the Wanksville Tower Trio is cool. It's even cooler now since uh, it's now an accomplishment tower trio. Since one of the two towers with the FH3, with the FH324 is, uh, now has an LED. All right, so now we get back into like the main series, um, basically, because the partial Springfield arc, um, since it's not numbered, I don't really consider it to be, um, don't really consider it to be one of the main thirteen Springfield arcs, though it is still a Springfield arc. Don't get me wrong. So yeah, after the partial Springfield arc, we got the very disappointing third Springfield arc, T 
technically fourth, but no, it's actually a third. So, um, you know how, um, in some cases, like when there's a trilogy, um, the first movie, well, I mean, the first thing, the first, um, thing of the trilogy, like usually movies, um, would be the best. Then the, this, the first sequel would be just god awful. And then the third one would be a redemption, basically. Well, um, in this case, um, the, 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 the original Springfield arc is okay-ish, I guess you can say. Really not much going for it, to be honest. The second Springfield arc is a, a big improvement. And then you got the third Springfield arc. I can't even express my disappointment with the third Springfield arc. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know why I'm very disappointed with this Springfield arc? The third Springfield arc? It's literally only four videos long. This is even shorter than the partial Springfield arc. And this is one of the main Springfield arcs. Come on, man. So um, the main towers of this arc are even in the, the logo, as you can see. Wait, why did I say logo? It's poster. You can see they're both in the poster. So yeah, um, the first main tower of this arc is obviously the, um, high, the Springfield Highway Patrol Tower. So uh, um, before the, the third Springfield arc even happened, um, I already planned on filming this tower because that's a ta it's a tower that I... Uh, I don't think I filmed before. Oh, wait, yeah, I have filmed it in the second Springfield arc. So, yeah, this tower appeared in the second Springfield arc. That's its, deb that's, um, its debut Springfield arc. I mean, that's where it debuted, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I messed up. But this here is, this arc is where the tower shines. Too bad it couldn't be in, like, any other Springfield arc that's better than the third. But, hey, we got, at least we got two good tower videos out of that arc. So, yeah, um, this is just some random picture I took. Of me uh, um, below the tower. Like you can just see the tower behind. Yeah I just took that picture. Because uh, I thought it would be cool. So it's an, it's an ancient big LT picture from September 2020. So the tower. Um, I keep on saying it has an FH308. But I'm not too sure anymore. Um, so um, before we get into that. Um, this tower used to have an old school 300mm incandescent. Whatever you like to call it. It's basically both. The reason why um, you can yeah, the reason why because is because um, it has leftover markers and I also took pictures of the leftover markers. I don't have to. I, I don't really uh, want to search for them right now. You'll just have to believe me here. <laughs> but this tower has two sets of leftover markers from its incandescent, so that's that's obviously um, evidence of this tower having an incandescent or 300 millimeter or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, um, every time you see uh, some random old tower with a strobe. And you see leftover markers. That's um, that's basically that basically basically means the tower had an incandescent once in its life, but not anymore. And then after that, it got an FH three hundred eight. But I keep on saying it has an FH three hundred eight because it's night mode and all that stuff, and how it has the most common FH three hundred eight night mode. But I am now starting to think that it might possibly have it might possibly have um, an FG two thousand. Yeah, a little crazy. But the reason why is because um, the black ratio and the white ratio of the beacon. Like every time I look at the the tower with my new glasses, I can I can really see um, more black than white. And if you and if you know um, how to tell if a tower has a a three hundred eight or two thousand, um, three hundred eights have more. Um, you can see more white instead of black. And more white, less black. The two thousand, you're able to see more black, less white. And that's why I'm seeing here. here. So um, I'm not too sure if it has an FH308 or not, but it, it might. I don't know. I do know Springfield is a big fan of the of the Honeywell beacons. Like um, almost every single tower that um, um, yeah, almost every single tower that has two sets of beacons at least had two sets of Honeywell strobes. So uh, yeah, there's only one tower I can think of that never had Honeywell strobes, and it's uh, the um, the, t the tall TV tower, which used to have modern incandescence, but now has two sets of white and red modern LEDs. Those modern incandescence might have been from Honeywell. I don't know. Not too sure. But I would I would think they were because really it's just Springfield is just littered with uh, Honeywell beacons. So I bet this tower had a uh, ha probably has the 2000. And now we move on to the all famous second Walmart tower. So, um... This here is more of a main tower than the actual highway highway patrol tower, 
but I still consider both to be the main towers of this arc. So yeah, um, I think of this tower, I mean, this tower uh, pops up more in my mind every time I think about the third Springfield arc. So yeah, um, this is um, very disappointing, but it uh, actually got an LED during the third Springfield arc. That's another thing that makes the third Springfield arc a disappointing arc. So um, the third Springfield arc, um, at least to me, is very infinite, infamous um, for um, the, the Highway Patrol Tower video and for... The LED, I mean, the LED fatality. The all-famous second Walmart Towers LED fatality. So if you didn't know, um, or if you forgot, because I already told you this once, um, I'm pretty sure. The third Springfield arc um, was supposed to feature this tower, the second Walmart Towers night mode with its FH306. It's supposed to be, it was supposed to just, um, supposed to be the first uh, video of, an, of the FH306 at night that I would make of this tower. So yeah, um, everything was um, a co going according to plan i guess like yeah it, it would have been perfect like we uh the, the hotel we were staying at was uh facing this tower so i would easily be able to film it both at day and night with his fh 6 and then led said no so yeah it got an led which completely ruined my plans and then on top of that i got sick like the the next day when we were actually leaving so, uh, yeah, I really didn't feel like doing anything. I was just, I felt like crap and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I didn't make videos that day, even, even though I was still in Springfield. I just felt so, just so out of it, so sick, all that crap. It was just, it was horrible. Oh, no, my, my screen. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, 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 oh where's my, oh, bro, I had a little bit of a panic, a panic attack. I thought, um, I thought, um, my, the screen, the screen recording stopped. The fourth Springfield knock. So, um, this here, um, it's another disappointing Springfield arc, to be honest. Only in one aspect, though. Everything else is pretty lit, you know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not stuck in 2018, 2019. I promise. So, the main tower of the fourth Springfield arc is the monopole you're able to see behind, uh, behind the actual, um, words here. So, yeah, that monopole, it, it's beaconless, sadly. So you're probably wondering, Big LT, why is a beaconless monopole the main tower of one of the Springfield arcs? Well, because every time I think about the, the four Springfield arc, or at least one of the things, is that tower. When I think about the towers, uh, that's one of the towers that pops into my mind. This tower is also pretty nostalgic, to be honest. The reason why it's nostalgic is because um, back during the early 2000s, I always had to go to Springfield for uh, little checkups and stuff because um i think the reason i think most i think it was mostly because because of autism that i always had to go there and then sometimes it was just wellness visits and stuff and usually most of the time after we get done with that crap we would go and eat at cc's pizza for um for lunch or dinner just you know depending on what time it was you know it was probably always lunch yeah it must have always been lunch i i remember always missing school for this so yeah um this tower here basically signaled that we were um, very, very, well, I mean, actually, no, it always signaled that we made it, basically. And then when we were far away and I was able to see it, that it was signaled that we are very close. So, yeah, um, that's why it's very nostalgic. And that's, um, you know, um, that's pretty nice, but it should have a beacon. I wish it did. It would have been nice, but it don't have one. To be honest, uh, um, if it had a beacon, I would uh, I would want it to have... An old school LED with just one set of markers. That will be fine enough. This tower looks like the type of tower to have an LED. And to my knowledge, we don't have a tower in Springfield with an old school LED. Every single monopole with a beacon in Springfield all have modern LEDs. So yeah, pretty disappointing, right? So the reason why this arc is this Springfield arc is kind of disappointing is the, is because um there's literally only two videos take place in Springfield. Every other video is either me heading to Springfield or leaving Springfield. Like, really, like, some of the best moments of the fourth Springfield arc is doesn't even take place in Springfield. Literally, there's only two videos in Springfield in the fourth Springfield arc. I really don't know what I was thinking. Really. <laughs> oh, wow. Though I do have to say, um, 
the fourth Springfield arc was the very first Springfield arc where I just went completely all out with outside towers. Outside towers are towers that I would uh, pass by mm -hmm. while going to... Oh, the, uh, Mr. LT here has to brush his teeth. Ugh. All right, I'm back. So uh, I had to brush my teeth. Yeah, very annoying. Very, very annoying. So, um, yeah, um, this arc... Um, all of it, or really, like, most of its standout moments is actually outside. Uh, wait, no, we already got it there. Um, so basically, um, I was on outside towers, right? So yeah, outside towers are basically towers that I filmed. Um, I mean, um, towers that I would see, um, be on my way and on my way home from, to and from the, my, uh, let's say that. Outside towers are towers I would see either on my way, um, I mean, either from or to my uh, destination. So yeah, um, before the fourth Springfield arc, I really didn't dig into that much. The first Springfield arc didn't feature any of that stuff. The second Springfield arc, I, I did film two Lebanon to towers and, um, the third Springfield arc, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I only filmed things inside Springfield. The, the fourth Springfield arc is, um, mostly outside towers. <laughs> All right. So now we got the fifth Springfield arc, you know, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get a little upgrade. There, how you like me now? So uh, I had brackets, I mean, uh, retainers and really making, re retainers make me sound so weird. I don't, I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't like wearing them when I'm making videos, so yeah. So yeah, and the fifth Springfield arc, the fifth Springfield arc is, uh, is much better than the fourth Springfield arc, to be honest. All right, so the main towers of the 5th Springfield arc are the downtown Springfield Towers. So, yeah, we're starting off with uh, the first Springfield Giants clone tower. Yeah, that um, Aiden came up with that nickname, and it stuck with me, I guess. This tower has two sets of 3,000 Bs with um, dead side markers. So, yeah, it sucks, I, I guess you can say. I don't know why I even said that, but dead side markers suck. They just suck. And then the other... The other one is this tower here, this microwave tower. It has a, I believe it has um, an FG2000. So it's the opposite of the 3000B basically. That's why I believe it has. I don't know. It, I guess it, I guess it might have it. it. The reason why I think it might have it is because it's night mode. is It has a slow flash night mode. And it's very, very similar to the, um, the FG2000. So uh, yeah, the FG2000's main night mode is the... The slow flash night mode. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't know how many flash per minutes that is. I bet it's like 40 flash per minutes, but um, the quick flash night mode is also 40 as well. So yeah, it's kind of weird. And then the third tower is actually a building. It's not actually a tower. Uh, I need to be on the other side of the road. All right, there we go. So we got the... Um... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Low battery. This device is not even enough charge to install software. Please charge the device before. Okay, get out of here. Well, low battery. Thank you for once. You've actually saved me from having to to sit through another long update that would probably change nothing whatsoever. So yeah, um, I got a lot to say about that, but I am pretty bad at getting off topic in video, so I don't want to do that. So um, I can. Uh, this is a building that I can never uh, remember the name of. The Hammonds Tower. The the Hammonds Tower. Um I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um I am infamous for not pronouncing words right. Like long words like Hamas. So the Hamas Tower, what well, Hamas Tower building, you know, whatever you want to call it, has a modern incandescent. It's had it for quite some time. Um so yeah. It's um it's a it's really an icon down here in Springfield. Uh so yeah, um it's incandescent. It's very weird nowadays. Um, back then it was just normal, just normal here, there, and all that crap. Like nothing here, but nothing too exciting except for just um, except for it just being normal and stuff. But in the fifth Springfield arc, um, I actually found out that this t this um, the LED. I mean the the incandescent has an LED retrofit in it now, I believe. So yeah, um, it has an LED retrofit. So yeah, it's pretty nice, kind of, I guess, but it does, um, at least back then I thought it was permanent. So yeah, like, um, 
during the the night mode videos of all three of these towers structures i guess you can say in this case um um really um i don't know why i said that let's just let's ignore it when i filmed it at night i thought it had a full-fledged led because it, um it was definitely not fading like a normal incandescent does so i thought it was just uh, i thought it got i thought it's incandescent was replaced by an led and i was not too happy about it but when i filmed it at day um I found out it still has its incandescent with no LED around it. So no LED in sight and all that stuff. I was just like, whoa, what the hell? And then it dawned on me, oh, LED retrofits exist. Like it dawned on me that um, there's a video out there on YouTube of some somebody putting an LED retrofit inside a modern incandescent. And I realized, holy crap, it's one of those things. Oh, wow. Oh, holy crap. So yeah, I thought it was permanent, and I was just like, no, you gotta be kidding me. That incandescent was nostalgic. But no worries. Uh, the next time I seen it on night mode, surprisingly, it's uh, um, it's um, incandescent bulbs were back. Kinda, at least one of them. So yeah, the last time, I mean, um, the next time I seen it on night mode after the fifth Springfield arc, um, it was it was just it was basically a normal incandescent again. So yeah, it was pretty nice, but very confusing. I remember um, we were driving up to our hotel we were staying at um, at night, and w me and my family were in the car, and then um, a horrible song that you guys probably remember, like um, Astronaut in the Ocean. You remember that horrible, crappy song? Well, it randomly played on the radio because Springfield's um, radio is kind of a little wonky. They usually just pick some very, very popular songs and overplay them for like the next few the, the next few months, basically. And my sister's not too happy about it. So my parents started singing it, and then I started getting onto it. So we're all three of us were just like, "What you know about rolling down in the deep?" Whatever the lyrics were again. So we kept on singing and laughing. And I look out the window, and I um I was ready to to see the LED retrofit inside this tower, this building's incandescent. And I noticed how it was flashing like a normal incandescent. And then my joking persona of of annoying my sister and stuff completely changed into just complete confusion. I was like, "What the hell?" That has an LED ritual fit. Why is it? it why is there an incandescent bulb in there? Like, what is? What, what's even going on? At that time, I had no idea that um, incandescents had LED. I mean, LED ritual fits. Like, if they if they don't work, a left the um, a leftover incandescent bulb inside the incandescent beacon would actually take over. I didn't know that at the time. But after all that happened and stuff, um, um, I came to learn that. And then um, I kind of just started thinking about it, just like, oh, wow, that's probably not permanent. But um, the last time I filmed it was yesterday, and its incandescent was flashing with the, with the normal incandescent bulb. So, yeah, um, I never seen the LED retro fit. I never seen the LED retro fit inside of it flash ever again. And uh, I don't know when I will. So, yeah, like the last time I seen it was in the fifth spring for dark. So, yeah, that was uh, we, we just dove uh, deep into that tower's beacon history. I wish this was the Law Lines Tower. But it ain't. No, 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 no. Shut the hell up. Shut. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. I'm not done with the video. No, no. Yeah. That just happened. I am very pissed now. Now I have to piece this clip and the other clip together. And you already know that's going to take a hell of a long time. Ugh, man, you know, I wanted to do this all in one clip and then upload that and then make a video of the upcoming Saint Six St. Louis arc, but I can't now. Ugh, man, but you know, let's continue on now. This here is the Six Springfield arc. All right, so the Six Springfield arc every time I uh, try to think of a main tower for the Six Springfield arc, nothing really pops up, and every time I think about the Six Springfield arc, really nothing pops up either, to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is very useless. Okay, that just popped up. Though I accidentally paused the video so you couldn't see my, I mean, couldn't hear my reaction. So yeah, um, when it comes to uh, main towers, tower or towers of the Six Springfield arc, it's a little bit confusing. I really don't know. It's just a, it's just, just all gray. Alright, so I had to look through the arc and come up with a main tower on the spot. So the main tower for the Six Springfield arc that I can really think of right now is the the second walmart tower so yeah this time it's by itself there's no highway patrol tower and company in it 
so yeah, I think it's pretty cool since uh, the second the second Walmart tower is my favorite Springfield tower. Uh, so yeah, just um, yeah, pretty nice, pretty cool. You know? Yeah, it's just really every time I think about the six Springfield arc, really uh, nothing too big stands out to be honest. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I present to you the seventh Springfield arc. But first off, holy crap, this poster, this arc poster has aged very poorly. I could have done so much better. And why is it horizontal? So um, the seventh Springfield arc is uh, infamous for being like the, the um, kind of like the, the first Springfield arc in, in a while. Like, um, um, the, I'm pretty sure the, um, there's a big time gap between the sixth and seventh Springfield arc. I'm going to check real fast. Alright, so I checked. The, the, the sixth Springfield arc took place in January 2021, and the, and the seventh one took place in April 2021. So we got a two-month gap. So uh, yeah, it, um, we haven't had a Springfield arc. Um, at, we haven't had a Springfield arc in a while after the sixth Springfield arc. And I do remember that. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, what happened to the Springfield arc series? Just like the sixth Springfield arc, I got some bad news. I just can't come up with a main tower for the seventh Springfield arc. You know, like uh, I just I can't even think of one on the spot either. Even while looking through it, um, just can't really think of any. To be honest, it's all gray when it comes to that stuff in this in the seventh Springfield arc at least. This the seventh Springfield arc had a lot of stuff going for it, like um just random things here and there. It wasn't all tower related and stuff. Different areas here and there, yeah. Well, the other few arcs um, took place in specific er mostly in specific areas. This one takes place in a lot of different specific areas of Springfield. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I I'm just going to leave this as a little mystery. I really don't know any main tower suitable suitable for the Seventh Springfield arc. And it's really a disappointment because this um, the Seventh Springfield arc is is like really like um. Like I said earlier, it's the first Springfield arc in uh, quite a while after the sixth Springfield arc. Like it's a that's the reason why it's pretty special to me, and because it took place right after the Florida arc, so that's pretty cool. But you know, it's not this poster. Arc. All right, so we got the eighth Springfield arc, and I have to say I could have done better with the poster work as well. Um, really, I I could have done better, but it's at least better than the seventh Springfield arc poster art. This arc feels like a sequel to both the the seventh Springfield arc and um, kinda um, kinda the set the second maybe I don't know. The reason why it kind of feels like a sequel to both of those Springfield arcs is because of the main towers. So the um, the red and white uh, the red and white FM tower with the three um, two sets of three thousand bees along with the 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 Horizon Tower. I mean, Verizon Tower close by, and two other towers are the main towers of this arc. So we already know all the information about the the um, the, the Verizon Tower and the red and white from F F FM Tower. So we're going to be taking a look at the other two main arc, main towers of the arc, since there's four main towers in this Springfield arc, or five actually, you can say, because uh, that small radio tower next to the big radio tower, I'm considering putting that as one of the main towers. So first off we got a replacement tower. This here is a very cool but very plain looking gray tower. It's literally a clone of the um, of that one little gray tower that's um, that's like very close to those five radio towers that I filmed twice not too long ago like um all yesterday and stuff. So yeah. This tower has a 3000B on it with just one set of markers. It's 3000B is very hard to see or just very hard to uh, just even make out what it is to be honest. Kind of looks like a tiny dual strobe and sometimes it kind of looks like an LED. So yeah, this tower I believe replaced another tower. Like this might be a replacement tower or something else might have happened. I, I know there used to be a, a, um, a lattice red and white tower over here. So um yeah, um, there it is. It used to have an FH324 before it was taken down for some odd reason. So uh, yeah, it was taken down. And I believe this tower is the reason why. I bet it just replaced it. Because this tower was built right after the other tower was taken down. I remember um, when finding these two towers on Google Maps for the first time, I I was just like, whoa, what, what is this tower? I, I don't remember this tower ever existing. 
Like, I had no idea this tower existed. And I, I do believe it was built in 2014, I think. So yeah, it's been it's been around for quite a while now, since like the early 2010s. So yeah, it's pretty nice. It even has a 3000B, which uh, would have had an LED back then, since it was like built in 2014 or 13 maybe, I don't know. That's when crappy LEDs reigned, um, reigned um, victory, I guess. No, not victory, superior, reigned superior to other beacons back then. But this tower stood out. So yeah, thanks to this discovery, um, and I mean, thanks to uh, checking Old Street View 2 to see how old this tower was, um, I kind of discovered um, a memory I had in my mind for like quite a while, I guess, I don't know. But literally when I uh, went to Old Street View and saw that one tower, I was just, uh, just like, holy crap, a dead Springfield tower? Let me check this out real fast. So, I, um, so I'm looking around and stuff, and then, uh, and then all of a sudden I am... Um, I um, turned the camera over to uh, where the old tower and that Markway tower were facing each other, and um, and in that instant, uh, some random faint distant memory popped up to, into my head. Like um, I was just like, I know these towers. These I, these towers are very very vaguely familiar. Like seriously, and then all of a sudden, just like the wind, it was gone. Just gone with the wind, because that's how stuff works, I guess. Like one point you'll do something, and then you'll instantly remember some random memory you've been you had in your mind that you didn't even know about, and then when you try to think about it, it just disappears forever and ever and ever. That's basically this situation here. Like I can really feel, um, I can really feel it and stuff, and then it just all disappeared. Like I wonder if I've seen both of those tower, both of these towers in uh, past uh, a very very old past Springfield visit from the early 2010s. Maybe 2011, 12, I don't know. Somewhere around that time, I think, I would imagine, I guess. So yeah, um, then um, I, I got off topic, I just realized. Alright, now this tower. Um, This tower has a single strobe. I believe it has an FH-08. Because um, uh, it kind of looks like one in this street view. I can't, ha I can't get any closer street view to it, sadly. Though we do have this little picture here. Let's see if this helps. I don't remember this picture existing. Must be brand new, maybe. Oh wow, you can't even see its beacon anymore. Come on. Well, yeah, it doesn't help anything, but I do believe it has an FH08. Uh, other than uh, yeah, just I believe it has an FH08. Um, can't really see any signs of it having a 2000. So yeah, I kind of said enough already. So yeah, let's uh, let's get a move on, I guess. The ninth Springfield Arc. Alright, so right off the bat, the main towers of the Ninth Springfield Arc are the are um, two of the um, these two smokestacks basically. Remember, um, these were the two mysterious smokestacks I didn't really know much about. Um, I only known that one of them had um, uh, high intensity strobes and possibly incandescence or red strobes maybe. I, I didn't know at the time, but now I know now. And then the other one having incandescence maybe I don't know. I never seen it at night, and there's really no video of it at night. So yeah, so yeah, I remember really wanting to film this, film these uh, smokestacks. They're pretty cool, you know. Oh wow. So yeah, um, the main smokestack is the this one here. It's the tallest one. It has two sets of high intensity strobes, and now I know it has. Uh, it actually has some um, FH real sevens. I really don't know any other smokestack with FH real sevens. So yeah, after I uh, discovered that, uh, I uh, I was happy to know that all three big cities in Missouri have the the um, the two twenty five system, flash technology two twenty five system for TV towers and just tall structures. And uh, because this tower, well, the smokestack is really the only smokestack I know of that has three hundred sevens. So I really want to film both these smokestacks at night one day. Hopefully, none of them get an LED. So uh, yeah, before I film them at night, I really want to film this smokestack because of its uh, very rare smokestack beacon setup. It's only rare for smokestacks at least. The red and white smokestack, I really don't know if it has incandescence or LEDs. Even when I uh, recorded, even when I recorded it, I didn't even know either. I just it was a mystery. I'm going to assume it has modern incandescence on it. Uh, I'm just going to say that. All right, so that's it for the Springfield art. The Tenth Springfield Arc. The Tenth Springfield Arc is uh, is another um, milestone in the Springfield Arc series, because this here is 
the tenth Springfield arc, obviously. This is the the, the arc. This, oops, uh, didn't mean to do that. This series, the Springfield arc, that um, that that the other Springfield arcs were kind of building up, but mostly not. I don't know. I got some bad news on this. Just like the seventh Springfield arc, I really can't, really just can't come up with a main tower for this arc. Like nothing really stands out. I guess I'm just going to say that the the second Walmart tower is the main tower of this arc because really I can't think of any other tower to take the to take the place as the the main tower of the arc. Sorry to disappoint, but I guess it's uh, fitting since this here is the tenth Springfield arc. The second Walmart tower is my favorite Springfield tower. So yeah, I think it's a great little final boss of the for the original ten, um, the original ten eleven arcs. I guess, if you decide to include the partial Springfield arc. But I'm really just including um, 1 through 10. So yeah, I guess this here is a great little final boss for all that for all that build-up, I guess. But I just have to say, this arc is kind of disappointing. Alright, so um, we did have a disappointing arc. Well, I mean, I'm, I meant to say um, the 10th Springfield arc might have been a little bit of a disappointment. But here is the 11th Springfield arc. So the 11th Springfield arc is basically what the 10th Springfield arc should have been. Like this, the 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 11th Springfield arc would have been a great little final boss to the um, to everything that we went through when it came to the Springfield arcs and all that stuff. So very, very, very obviously, uh, the um, the four Fortland TV towers are the main towers of this arc. So yeah, this here is really the reason why this should have been. Um, what the 10th Springfield arc shouldn't have, uh, um, what the 10th Springfield arc uh, didn't achieve. Alright, alright, I, I said that kind of weird. Um, basically, I'm trying to say that the 11th Springfield arc should have been the 10th Springfield arc. I really do wish that um, I did. I, I really wish I filmed these towers in the 10th Springfield arc rather than the in the the, the 11th, because um, it it would have made, you know, it would have made um, the 10th Springfield arc more of a final boss. So yeah, since there's like four TV towers and one of them being like one of the tallest structures in Missouri, like really it's tied to another tower. This tower along with some random tower close to Jefferson City are the tallest structures in Missouri. So this is a great little final boss of um, of um, the first 10 Springfield arcs, but um, that didn't really come. So the first, um, the first uh, Forland Tower, aka the, the main, main tower, and all that stuff like um like the main Fortland tower as well that's another name it goes by um but it's also called the ky tv tower so the ky tv tower has seven se well six set of six sets of um fh uh, ftb 205 205 high intensity strobes to, um to seven sets of modern incandescence and one single strobe some mysterious single strobe is up there. I don't know what which what it is really. Could be an FH-08, and it could be something else. I don't know. I have a feeling that it's probably not an FH-08. It's probably an FH-01, if you think about it. Since this is an, is, this is an older beacon setup. The second tower has, uh, I don't know how many sets, but it has uh, high-intensity strobes and a single strobe. So yeah, um, it only shines white. The third tower has a mysterious set of beacons. Like uh, I don't know what beacon it has, but I do know it has it has high intensity strobes and some sort of night but only beacons. I don't know. It might have modern incandescence too. And then the fourth tower has uh, old school incandescence and all that stuff. So yeah, those are the main towers of the of the um, the uh, the eleventh Springfield arc. Now we have the twelfth Springfield arc. We got more bad news. I can't think of any main tower for this arc, cause really, um, the towers here in the twelfth Springfield arc are just basically former. I mean, they're they're um, main towers of uh, different Springfield arcs, and really, the twelfth Springfield arc doesn't really have anything original. It's just just not really original. So yeah, like um, the later Springfield arcs are just whatever. I guess you can say. Um, I just noticed something. Is that an AT and T building? If so, then. Damn, that there could have been a Long Lines Tower up there. But H.A. Jackson did say there wasn't any Long Lines Tower in Springfield. But I still like to believe there might be, or it might have been one. So yeah, I can't really think of any main tower for the 12th Springfield Arc. Sorry to disappoint. But the 13th Springfield Arc, we got three main towers. And you're able to see two of them in the the um, in the, um, the the cover art. 
poster art. Yeah, it's a poster art. A poster art, not art. What am I talking about? So the main towers of the 13 Springfield arc are um, the, the first Springfield Giants Tower, the second Springfield Giants Tower, and the new third Springfield Giants Tower. All three of them being clones of each other with some differences here and there. And yeah, um, all three of them all having the same beacon set up. Literally the same beacons, the same and just the same beacon set up, you know. I like how all three of them have um, have the double duel, basically. Which is when a tower has two um, dual strobes on the top of, of them. So yeah, it's pretty cool, I had to say. So yeah, I randomly found the, the third the third tower, the third giant's tower, and, uh, and I realized um, this, is, this isn't too far away from Springfield. So I was just like, wow, I need to film this when I, the next time I go there. Like, I need to film this. And yeah, and while I was there, um, while at it, I um, I decided to film the other two as well and make the make this tower trio the main towers of the thirteen Springfield arc. All right, so that's really the that's really it for t for today's video. But before I go, I'm going I'm going to uh, make a prediction. I'm going to I'm I'm going to pr predict that the main tower of the fourteenth Spring Springfield arc is going to be the third Springfield smokestack, because I don't believe I'm going to be filming the Fordland TV towers at night down in Fordland at, uh, anytime soon, you know? So yeah. Um, so if I don't end up doing that, I'm going to make the, um, I'm, I'm going to make the, um, the third, the third Springfield, uh, the third Springfield smokestack, the main tower of the arc. Like, seriously, how could I lose the word smokestack? I kept on thinking and thinking. She's like, where is it? What, what was it? What was it? What was the word? So yeah, I'm going to try to see if I could have any of those towers be the main towers of the future 14.